So why am I running for arts representative to SMU? Basically, I really care about this stuff. Uh, student representation on campus is immensely important, so I'm really excited about any opportunity I have to be a part of it. Um, also, throughout my involvement at McGill, I've heard lots of great ideas from students about how to improve the McGill experience, and if there's any role that I can play in making sure that those voices are heard, you know, I'd feel really good about doing that. Um, on a bit of a more personal level, I've been involved with student politics on kind of a ground level since coming to McGill, so it'd be really exciting for me to be able to take that involvement to within SMU and the AUS themselves. So during my time at McGill, I've been involved in student life in a really wide variety of ways. This has really enriched my understanding of all the different facets that can go into making a McGill arts student, and uh, therefore given me, I think, a better understanding of how to best represent us as a whole. Um, I've seen McGill through the perspective of you know, a student, an activist, a club president, SMU committee member, a uh, performer. So I feel like I bring a really diverse range of voices to the table as arts representative and uh, therefore give a more accurate depiction of McGill's arts students as a whole. As far as accurate representation goes, openness and accessibility are the most important considerations to keep in mind. As a member of SMU's equity committee, acting with openness and non-judgment is the focal point of my job, and I believe I'll be able to do a good job of that in the capacity of arts rep as well. Also, regarding accessibility, I'm practiced in encouraging responsiveness and dialogue with the target group because uh, a lot of my work in activism has been within the capacity of communications, so I feel very well equipped for dealing with the task of making sure that I'm engaging with McGill's art students and they're engaging with me. Uh, I'll be at your events, I'll be at your meetings, wherever you need me to be. Uh, the biggest barrier I think I'll face with communications is the issue of popular detachment from AUS and SMU politics. I'd like to face this by focusing on an outreach-based rebranding of the arts rep position to emphasize the more tangible and less abstract political side of what student democracy can do for you. The central function of an arts rep is just that, to represent. So of course that is always going to be my overall priority. I've acted as a representative and a delegate for numerous clubs I've been involved with in the past, so I'm no stranger to having to give up your own view in favor of the democratically arrived at conclusion. However, consensus building through lots and lots of communication and outreach will be a big focus of mine as arts rep. So, you know, I'm really not one to give up easily on consensus building, but if it ultimately still results in division, then I fully appreciate that my role is ultimately representative and not prescriptive. If I had to be any mythical creature, I would have to be Cthulhu so that H.P. Lovecraft would write stories about me. As far as accurate representation goes, openness and accessibility are the most important considerations to keep in mind. As a member of SMU's equity committee, acting with openness and non-judgment is the focal point of my job, and I believe I'll be able to do a good job of that in the capacity of arts rep as well. Also, regarding accessibility, I'm practiced in encouraging responsiveness and dialogue with the target group because uh, a lot of my work in activism has been within the capacity of communications, so I feel very well equipped for dealing with the task of making sure that I'm engaging with McGill's art students and they're engaging with me. Uh, I'll be at your events, I'll be at your meetings, wherever you need me to be. Uh, the biggest barrier I think I'll face with communications is the issue of popular detachment from AUS and SMU politics. I'd like to face this by focusing on an outreach-based rebranding of the arts rep position to emphasize the more tangible and less abstract political side of what student democracy can do for you. If I had to be any mythical creature, I would have to be Cthulhu so that H.P. Lovecraft would write stories about me. <laughs>